afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Atlanta Braves and the Washington Nationals. The Braves will try to complete the series sweep on the road against their division rivals right after this. Steven Strasburg, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy's had a real solid season up to this point. ERA under 3.5, which is saying something in these high-scoring games we see now in the game of baseball. This guy knows how to pitch, and if he's on, he knows how to minimize the damage. He'll be fun to watch in this one. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. He will lead this one off today. Now the one and one pitch. Trying to bunt here, but this winds up hitting him. And they're going to say that he went after it. A strange strike, too. Misses, ball two. And just a Chamber of Commerce afternoon for baseball. 82 degrees here at first pitch. Two and two count. Here's the pitch. Swung on in the dirt. Strike three. Suzuki corrals it. And he makes the throw to first. Albies is retired, and there's one away. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And standing in the powerful right fielder, Nick Markakis. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. That's foul off to the left side as he makes him do it again. Three and two. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Batting third. The first baseman, number five, Freddie. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. And as we give you a look at his splits, he's had the better of right-handers this season. No doubt about that. A 1-1. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Hit on the ground to short. Turner loves it. Kendrick on to first, but not in time as he beats it out. And kids, this is why you always go hard in the second base. Could have been an easy double play ball, but the slide really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up only getting one out on the play. Good, aggressive, legal slide that time. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. A 1-1. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Patrick Johnson. You know, D-Row, Patty Johnson, you know, decent strike zone, but isn't always super consistent. I think that's one of the things that irritates players and pitchers. Yeah, you're going to see a few glares, not only from the offensive guys, but maybe the guy on the mound as well. He needs to be a little bit more consistent. Well, this has been a good at-bat. He's now worked the count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Braves strand one. And now the Nationals get their first opportunity. No score. Felix Hernandez will do the pitching in game three of the series. 
Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, so far this year, this guy hasn't pitched very well on the road. He's actually struggled on the road, so it'll be interesting to see if he can turn that around here in this one. A speedy Trey Turner digs in now. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Hernandez readies the 1-1. One, one. A bouncer to the left side. Scooped up. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. Batting second. The center fielder. Adam. Ethan. So the base is empty here with one away. And the next to bat is speedy Adam Eaton. The 1-1 one, one home. High in the air out to center field. Acuna's there for it. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Here's Howie Kendrick. As we take a look there at the difference in his numbers between June and July. Bases are empty here with two men out. High in the air down the right field line. Marquecas on the run, and no one will track it down. Into center field, line drive base hit. A little two out lightning right there, Dan, in the first inning. Let's see if the cleanup hitter's got Dying anything cool. in store. Boy, it would look like field. such an easy and a promising oh. easy inning for the pitcher. Now oh, he has to deal with the Thunder, the cleanup hitter coming up. Juan Soto to the plate now. Currently ninth in the NL in hitting entering play. What a terrific season this guy's having. Up near the leaders in batting average, without a doubt the highest average and the best hitter on this team. Hit the target, but this is low. Two and one. Guys, one of D-Rose's former employers, the Braves, as they begin play here this afternoon. They've been hot of late, winners in four straight. Yeah, Maddie, without question. We, they find themselves in this position today. They got a chance to sweep the series on Sunday and make it a miraculous weekend. Boy, D-Rose, that's always a nice way to finish off a weekend. You win a big game on Saturday, and to close it off with a win here and a sweep on Sunday would really be sweet for this ball club. Even count, two balls and two strikes. off Kendrick the runner at first with two gone in the dirt here but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance now the three and two pitch Hard on the ground towards short. Camargo picks it up cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. One left for Washington. Still no score. And that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Now the 2-1 pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Well, today's game provides the visiting squad with a chance to complete the series sweep, guys. And this could be a wake-up call for this first-place team. No team in first place likes to get swept, so this could be a key game and also a key game in a divisional series. Here's the 2-2. Drill down the line. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. A 
looking at this, you know he had to be sitting on that pitch because he jumped all over it. Tried to keep him off balance with the old Uncle Charlie, and he was having none of that. Not a bad pitch. He was just waiting for it and blasted a leadoff double. Here now is the catcher, Tyler Flowers, and he'll hit with a chance to push across the game's first run. Yeah, great RBI opportunity here, but at the very least, he needs to find a way to advance that runner to third. Small things like that in a tight game can make a big difference. Here it comes on one and one. Line towards center field. Catch made out there in center field as the runner will tag from second. Throw won't get him. And the next in is Johan Camargo. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. and two strikes here's the pitch fouled away the one two is a wave and a miss he struck him out well their chances of pushing across a run took a pretty good hit after that strikeout it's so much tougher to score a guy from third with two outs instead of one basically you need a hit or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball So now to the plate, Austin Riley. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. That's a nice job to work that walk right there. Even if it doesn't lead to anything on the scoreboard this inning, it prevents the pitcher from having to lead off of the next one. Just one of those small things that might go unnoticed, but in the end, make a big difference. The set and the 1-1. One -one. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. Fellas, the Nationals, as they take the field here today, they dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Matty B, what we're seeing there is a team D row. They're starting to put the gas pedal down right now. They're starting to get some length in this division. Yeah, this team's playing well. They're playing with confidence. You can tell guys are walking to the plate with a swagger. Their pitchers are taking them out and executing pitches down and away. This is a good ball flow. Swing and a ground ball to third. Throw to first is going to be in time, and the Braves rally comes up short as that's out number three. Two left for Atlanta. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Into the box, Eric Thames. Couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. The 3-2 pitch. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. And don't forget, he lost his last time out, so he wants to get off on the right foot here. The last thing he wanted was to walk the leadoff man. Coming to the plate now, Kurt Suzuki. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Nobody out, runner on first. Hit high and deep to left field. Back goes Ozuna. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Batting seven. The third baseman. Of Rubel. So a runner at first with one out now. And that'll bring in the switch hitting former All-Star is Drubal Cabrera.
hit hard on the ground towards second. And that gets through for a one out base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, you know what? Right there, he executed a pitch. He can't worry about where it's going. He just wants to put it on the ground right there, give his defense a chance to work, and it, it, it found a hole, period, the end. In now, Brian Zimmerman. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. And they were able to put up double digits in the runs column yesterday, so a similar performance from the lineup would give them a good chance, at least, at a series sweep. Listen, it's hard in this day and age with all the quality pitching to put up double-digit runs like they did yesterday. They'd certainly like to have some of those back if they could and add them to today's box score. Three and one to him now. First and second now, one man out. And Zimmerman will watch this one miss for ball four. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. So it's bases loaded, one away, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Steven Strasburg. The 2-1 home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Hey, I love the aggressiveness right here and wanting to be a hero. But this is where you got to tell yourself to relax a little bit. I had an old coach tell me one time, when the bases are loaded, just concern yourself with getting a guy in from third. And Hernandez won't get him to chase this one. It's a full count now, three and two. Trey Turner is on deck. Bottom of the second here with no score. Strike three called. My gracious, what a pitch with the bases loaded, and there are two away now. Now, I know he struck out there, but for a pitcher, that's a pretty solid at bat. Anytime you can make an opposing pitcher out there work and throw quite a few more extra pitches, that's a quality A-B in my book. Standing in now, Trey Turner. Two and one to count to Trey Turner. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Here's the 2-1. This is hit to third. Is he going to get out of this? He is. They get the force at second base, and the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. So up steps Ozzie Albies, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Hit sharply on the ground. Kendrick's got it. And no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hitting streak going. You know what? And this could be this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. Into the box, Nick Markakis. And Markakis lays off here. It's two and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. And he misses again, ball three. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3-1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around them? From 
on the stretch. On a gift of a swing there. It's three and two now. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit changeup? Or do you stay with the heater? Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. On the ground to the right side. And Marcakis has got himself a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, two runners on after back-to-back -back singles right there. They are in prime position to put the first run on the board right here. At the plate, Freddie Freeman pulled toward right center field. Eaton on the move. He makes the play. Runner tags and hits for third. We'll see if moving up the third pays off for him. He didn't have to tag and go for third, but now he can score a lot of different ways. Doesn't have to be a hit. Acuna digs in now. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Third inning, no score to this point. Slapped hard the opposite way. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. Boy, this one looked like it was headed for extra bases off the bat. Instead, a line drive bullet caught in the alley, but he does end up getting a sacrifice fly. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning, and that'll bring up the big RBI bat of Marcelo Zuna. The one two. That's the ball. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Racing back the right fielder. Still ranging back. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. A two run blast to straight away right field. Home run number 16 for him on the year as the Braves have opened up a 3 0 lead. You don't see this very often off of this starting pitcher. This guy's not used to giving up some bombs, so I'm sure that'll be a wake-up call, and he'll start throwing some better pitches. Into the box now, Tyler Flowers. Now that ball is smoked, carrying to deep left. Soto retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. We played two and a half. It's now 3-0 Atlanta. We're back now as the Nationals ready to bat in the third inning. And as they do, it's a good time to discuss their offense, which has been a real source of pride for this club. And one significant aspect of their offense is the running game, where they currently rank among the league leaders in stolen bases and stolen base success rate. I brought this up with some of the players earlier, and one of the pitchers told me, one, it's fun to watch, and two, I'm glad I'm not responsible for defending against it. Our guys will pick you apart if you're not smart. It's an athletic bunch, and they use it effectively, guys. Thank you, Heidi. And this is low, ball two, two and one. The Braves had a lot of success at the plate yesterday, a double-digit hit total as a team, so they'd like to make that happen again as they go for the sweep. This one isn't in the books yet, but when you're going for the sweep and you have a nice lead like they do early on here, things are looking awfully good for the sweep department. And there's out number one. So one gone now as we give you a look at where these two teams find themselves entering plague in the National League's Eastern Division race.
One away now in the Washington third. And stepping in is the second baseman, Howie Kendrick. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hot shot on the ground is short. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. Jeez, this looked like a routine rounder that just got away from him. Every school kid knows that you've got to look it all the way into the glove. He didn't, and now they've got to deal with a one-out base runner. Here now is Juan Soto. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One one. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Runners on first with one down. And he got him. So striding forward now, Eric Thames. He drew a walk his first time up. Here's the one and two. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Here now the two two. Three ball, two strikes. Three-two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now the payoff pitch home is swung on and missed strike three. Nationals leave one, still down three-nothing. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the Braves' offense with their manager, Brian Snicker, during the commercial break. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Okay, thank you, Heidi. All set for the start of the fourth. And up next, the utility man, Johan Camargo. The 1-1. One, one. Hit to short. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now that is. Striding in once again, Austin Riley. He drew a base on balls his first time up. One one pitch is a curveball that misses ball two. Three runs, four hits, and one error on the Atlanta line score. Slow roller down the third baseline. On to first, and Strasburg's in control here, two away. Now that digging in to try it again, Felix Hernandez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. One and two now to the Braves now, pitcher. One and two. The pitch. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. In there, a base hit. Boy, D, were you talking about frustrating as a pitcher? You have the pitcher up with two happen. outs. And he extends the inning there with a base hit. Yeah, it's funny. I've hit eighth in my career, and the grind was to try and get the pitcher up so you could waste that out and flip the lineup over. This guy took it into his own hands and did just that. By getting a knock, now we could have some issues here. To the plate now, Ozzy Albies. Here he comes again, one-two. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. 
one left for Atlanta, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Kurt Suzuki. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The one two is laid off for ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Wow, that's the case right there where a pitcher knows this guy's up there and he's in swing mode. That pitch wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he still swung at it. So now to the plate as Drubal Cabrera swung on and missed one and two now. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked at full now at 3-2. and two. Due next, there's Ryan Zimmerman. No runs, two hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. There's ball four. Perfect. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. Reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. On the move is Markakis. And Markakis won't get there. It's a foul ball. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Popped him up. Flowers is under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Stepping up to the plate, Steven Strasburg. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way. Come at him with hard velo late or snap something off in the dirt to see if he'll fish. One and two to the Nationals pitcher. One two pitch. A runner on first with two away. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. One left for Washington. They trail in this one three nothing. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Nick Markakis. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. A lot of indecision there on that check swing, and that's the something you see quite a lot on three and two. Ready. When the difference between striking out and drawing a walk in can be an inch or two, it's pretty understandable why guys aren't always aggressive with their swings. Strasburg on one and one. Fly ball out toward left center field. 
left fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. Digging in once again, Ronald Acuna. He hit a sack fly earlier. Takes this the other way to right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. Braves are set down 1-2-3. They lead it 3 to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Nationals manager Dave Martinez between innings, specifically about his club's offense to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. All right. Thanks, Heidi. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up one of the fastest players in all the land, Trey Turner. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. In now, Adam Eaton. 1-1 one, one pitch and a good sinker there, but he can't find the zone 2-1. And, and so now the Braves will get both a left-hander and a right-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Next pitch for Felix will be number 75 in the ballgame. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. The 2-2. Two, two. Swing and a soft liner, and plenty of time over there at third to get a glove up, and there are two down. Now batter. The Stepping into the box, Howie Howie. Kendrick. An error allowed him to reach Kendrick. base in his last appearance. Two out, nobody on. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. And they keep the inning alive with a base hit, but you can see that's only the third hit. He's given up the entire game, so he's still in total control out there. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And digging into bat next, the ever-dangerous Juan Soto. Two out with the man at first. Bounce to first. Freeman's got it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Braves three, and the Nationals nothing. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that'll bring up big-time RBI man Marcelo Zuna. And hey, it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a pretty good off-speed hitter. You could tell by that last at bat he wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it. One and two now. Pitch on the way. It's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. 
He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Stepping in now, Tyler Flowers. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. Two balls and two strikes now to the Braves catcher. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. Hit in the air down the right field line. Long run for the right fielder, and no one will track it down. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Into the box, Johan Camargo. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and in steps the lefty power threat, Eric Thames. Hernandez readies the 1-1. One, one. Bonnie gets him to wave at that one. It's two and two. And it's fouled away. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. A bouncer to the left side and that finds its way through for a base hit. Hey guys he was obviously trying to bury that slider down and in. Nice execution by the batter right there keeping his hands inside and fighting it off for a nice base hit. At the plate, Kurt Suzuki takes this the other way to right. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. You know, d -Row, I'm not sure if you're one of those superstitious guys, but a 13-game hitting streak seems like a pretty good number for this guy. Yeah, that's the old Baker's dozen right there. We're almost looking at two weeks of just sleeping like a baby. I can't be... You're going to hear me reiterate this throughout this streak. I can't tell you, when you're swinging the bat like this, your food tastes better, your wife gets prettier, everything is just working. To the plate now as Drupal Cabrera... Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Boy, the Nationals could use a big hit right here. They really haven't been able to do much all game long. This would be a great time to get something going. A one-two pitch from Felix. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. On his way out to the mound now is the Atlanta skipper. And that will be all we see this afternoon of the Cy Young Award winner, Felix Hernandez. So as he departs, he'll remain responsible for the man left to board, but he cannot lose this one. Luke Jackson, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Luke Jackson.
Ryan Zimmerman will be his first assignment out of the bullpen as he'll stand in with a runner in scoring position at second and one away. The 2 1 pitch. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Working for the punch out and the offering. Count remains two and two. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. And the payoff pitch. And a swing and a miss by Zimmerman as he sat down on strikes here. There are two away. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came after an absolute pitcher, missile of a fastball. Even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. Starlin Castro will look to provide a little two-out thunder off the bench as he'll hit with a runner at second and two away. Starlin. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. From the belt, the pitch. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And it's full now, three and two. You know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two, but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Back goes Ozuna at the track, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. At the plate now, Trey Turner. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Lays off two and two now. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We're through six full. Atlanta leads it three to two. Ryan Harper is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 33, Ryan Harper. Ball set for the start of the inning and set to go as the third baseman, Austin Riley. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. I got two on the count. Oh, 
And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. take there is they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh it's ball four that leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning Ender Inciarte will come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out Ender Inciarte Fouls this one off. Now the three and two pitch fouled off. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Weak roller right side. Reined in. There's one. And that didn't work out too well as the pinch hitter comes on to bounce into a double play. Coming on as a pinch hitter is a tough spot to be in, but that's the last thing you want to do when your skipper calls on you. Not going to be happy about that. Ready for another shot now. Ozzy Albies. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready? Now the payoff pitch. High in the air out to center field. After it is eaten. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the Three inning. The Braves go down without a whimper here. They're up three to two. Grant Dayton is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Number 75. Grant. In now is Adam Eaton. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last AB. He hit that ball on the screws. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Two balls and two strikes now. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Here now the 2 2. It is taken, ball three. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. On his way to second is Eaton. And he'll get in at second base as the time runs aboard with a leadoff double. No doubt about it. He was looking fastball all the way there. And that's exactly what he got. Got the barrel out front and just blasted it down the line for an extra base hit. Nobody out. Runner in scoring position. Great opportunity here. In now, Howie Kendrick sent on the ground out to second. Albies picks it up, and that's the first down. Striding in, Juan Soto. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. 
Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is foul near the seats. The one two. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Man, the batter's eyes lit up right there. A hanger just a little bit out in front. Couldn't keep it fair. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. That strikeout changes the whole complexion the of the inning. He was oh. definitely pitching for it with yeah, a right. runner on third and one out, and he got it. Hey. Now it's going to take a hit or something like a wild pitch to get that guy home. Standing in now, Eric Thames. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two outs here with a runner at third. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Here's the two and two. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. We'll see Nick Markakis when we come back. Eighth inning coming up. Braves lead this one 3-2. to two. Sean Doolittle has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 63, Sean Doolittle. Ready to begin the eighth and standing in the powerful right fielder Nick Markakis. The 1-1. One, one. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And the Braves have something going right away. It's a leadoff double. Talk about starting off the inning with a bang. Goodness. When this thing left the bat, I thought it was out of here. And I think he might have, too. Only made it to the warning track, but he glides into second base with a leadoff double. Into the box now. Freddie Freeman hit hard back up the middle. And there's one down now. So a runner stands at third. One man is out, and that'll bring up the always dangerous Ronald Acuna Jr. Now the 2 1. Strike two swinging. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Great spot on that 2-2 two -two fastball. You can't place it on the inside corner any better than that. And as a hitter, there's just not a whole lot you can do with that unless you're looking for it and time it just right. Love seeing a guy that can work the inside with his fastball. Into the box, Marcelo Zuna fouled away. Mm -hmm. 
looking to keep this a one run game the pitch a full count three balls and two strikes now on three and two as a pitcher you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Here's the payoff pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Eaton is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Brave strand one, but they still lead it three to two. Chris Martin is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 55, Chris Martin. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And now it'll be the catcher, Kurt Suzuki. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Set and the two and one pitch. You got him to go down after that one, and it's two and two. The Braves leading by the slimmest of margins late in this one and trying to hang on and earn the series sweep. One of the keys if you want to sweep a team is you're going to have to get some big outs in that seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. They're leading by a run as we're going towards the end of this game. Now it's time for the pitching staff to put this one under wraps. So he racks up the swinging the strikeout on the breaking ball. Kurt Suzuki becomes the first out in the bottom of the eighth inning. At the plate, as Dribble Cabrera, the bouncer to the left side. He's got it. Throw on the first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Ready for another chance? Ryan Zimmerman, he struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those pop and hold on now. That's a fair ball down the left field line. Should be at least a double. And hold all tickets now as the tying run gets into scoring position with a two-out double. And if the Nationals decide to pinch hit here, there you get a look at what remains on their bench to choose from. Victor Robles will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 16. Victor. This one, everything we could have hoped for. Three to two in inning number eight. Yeah. Now ball in two strikes now. And it certainly would be a big morale boost to a team if they're able to complete a sweep like this one on the road in hostile territory. So important to remain focused and not look at the end, particularly when you're playing well like this team has. Playing well, winning this game, not looking towards the end of the season, looking towards the postseason, but making sure you stay focused on every single game. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Acuna coming in. He's got it as the time run is left on base. Danger averted following the two-out double. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Austin Voss enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one. And next to hit is the catcher, Tyler Flowers. Can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's two and one. Swing and a hot shot toward third, but right to Cabrera, and that's the first down. The shortstop, Johan Camargo. At the plate, Johan Camargo. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1 2. 
Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right-hander begins to get loose. One out, nobody on. Weak grounder back to the mound. Throw gets him, two down. Now Standing back. in, Austin Riley. It was a Austin walk in his last trip. Riley. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Changeup laid off down around the shins. Voss stands 6 2 and throws from the right side. He was a fifth round pick back in the draft of 2013. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way into big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. 2-2. He swung on and missed strike three. Down in order go the Braves. And it remains a 3-2 ball game. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Will Smith enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Now pitching and batting in the eighth. Number 51. Here now is Trey Turner. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Ball two. He's set. Here's the two two. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. When your closer comes in and strikes out the first guy he faces, everyone on the team can kind of take a deep breath. Still have two more outs to get. But retiring that leadoff guy is always huge when you're trying to shut a game down. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Bases are empty, one man in. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Waiting on deck is Howie Kendrick. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. The 1-1. One, one. And there's a cold strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. The win would belong to Felix Hernandez if the lead holds up. Fans on their feet in a one-run ball game in the last of the ninth. Last strike now for the Nats. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. And don't change the channel yet as extra bases are going to put the tying run in scoring position. And he is in the second base with a double. His third oh, hit this afternoon. No So striding in, Juan Soto. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much. 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make amend. Well, when your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters.
the set and the 2 1. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. He gets the punch out as the Braves sweep their first place division rivals. Well, these guys feel pretty good about themselves, and they should. Anytime you can come into somebody else's ballpark and sweep a three game tilt, you're doing something right. Great team effort. A one run game this afternoon, three to two, the final finish. The Atlanta Braves led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Felix Hernandez wins his team leading 10th game of the year. Will Smith retires the side to hammer down the save, his 24th on the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Atlanta Braves. Three runs, six hits, one error. They left five men on base. For the Nationals, two runs, nine hits, no errors. They left 11 men on base. The winning pitcher is Felix Hernandez. His record is now 10 and 6.